So let me show you, let me show you your position. See, you got to understand, why is it that God is visiting Adam every day? He's coming to where he is. He's coming into the garden in the cool of the day. He's coming for fellowship. What is it about him that God would want a fellowship with him? What is it about you that he would want to, like, think about this, that every day God enjoys your company. Think about that. Wait a minute, God, he enjoyed, he, he's created prayer for the purpose of us fellowshipping. And look how lonely some of us leave him in the morning. Throughout the day. He comes in the garden in the cool of the day to fellowship with Adam every day. Every day. Put up, put up Psalms 8 and 4. Somebody holler, every day. What is it about you that you dislike so much but he loves? What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou what? Visiteth him. Why he keep coming to your house? <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. For thou hast made him who? Man. A little lower than the angels, and has crowned him with glory and honor. Are you here? Amen. He has to fellowship with you because there is no one else on the level with him like you. Because there is no other created thing that has the ability, not even angels, to fellowship with God on the level that we have. Spirit to spirit, ruach to ruach. Yes, Let me leave y'all alone with that. Look, 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 look. Put, put this up. Put this up in the New Living Translation. Go back to four. Go back to four. Cause, cause, see, the, the word angels here, write it down in verse five, is the word Elohim. And the word Elohim, somebody holler Elohim. The noun Elohim is plural, but it is also always used with a singular verb when it speaks of the true God. This indicates a unity and diversity within the nature of God. Now watch this. Watch this. What are people that you should think about them? Mere mortals that you should care for them. This translates it properly. Yet you have made them only lower, a little lower than God, not angels. If, if we talk about the order in the kingdom and it was God, angels, and Rodney, then that means angels could tell me what to do. Then that means that Satan would have significant power over me. Right? That also would mean that I would not have the ability to call angels. Remember Jesus when he was, he was being taken to the cross and he, he, he told them, he said, listen, if I wanted to, I could call 12 legions of angels. In other words, I don't have to go nowhere. I have all heaven, I have all of heaven at my beck and call. And when you call on Jesus, guess what happens when you hit that break and don't seem like whew, angels sweep, swoop right to you. He says that he's made us a little lower than him. So here's the order in the kingdom. God, Rodney, angels. Let me talk to someone else over here. What's the order in the kingdom? God. What would you say? What, say God, you, so, so, so what happens is he can't fellowship with them. If we use your terminology, they're not on his level. Because they're servants. We're kings. That's why he converses with us because he seeks another king's opinion. Not so much that he needs it, but that's the whole concept of fellowship. What you think, king? I think you're great, Lord. Hallelujah. You know I am great and greatly to be praised. <laughs> so if that's the case, and it is, and Jude says that Satan is chained in, in, into, in the outer darkness until the day of judgment, why is it that you keep allowing the enemy to make you believe that his position and his rank in the kingdom is greater than yours. You, you, you know, y'all say no, it's not, but that's how y'all act. 
Because soon as something goes wrong, you start talking like he talked. The moment you confess anything other than the word says, you become a liar too. Oh, y'all don't like that. He's a liar in the father life. What is he trying to tell you? He's trying to tell you and convince you that the word is a lie. When you start confessing what he would confess, you start saying that the word is a lie. Which makes you a liar because your father is the father of lies. I know y'all don't like that, but it's the truth. But when you believe your father, despite what Satan or anybody else is whispering, you're telling the truth and nothing but the truth, even if it doesn't look in the natural like the truth. I'm healed by his stripes, period. Somebody holler, period. Yes. So you got to stop yielding your power to things and those that are beneath you. I'm going to say that again. Stop yielding your power to things and those that are what? Beneath me. Say it, beneath me. Beneath me. 